guys welcome back to our channel and welcome to this extra video i've been telling you guys for a long time now that i would make a video telling you guys how much it costs to actually have a horse and this is it this is that video I did some lists here I figured it all out it took forever which is why this video took forever to make and I decided the easiest way to tell you guys how much it costs us to have horses at home and how much it costs to have just one horse is to do a side-by-side -side comparison explaining how much it would cost to have storm at home alone and then how much it actually costs us to have five horses at home. these are these are the six things that our horses have to have um, so basically they have to have food so they have to have um, hay is the number one thing that we that we have to provide for our horses um, I know it's different in a lot of places and in the time of the year like right now our boys are on um, grass and that lowers the cost of our hay and in the winter the cost of our hay increases so I'm just doing a roundabout general idea so you guys can know how much it it it, it sort of costs if that makes sense so anyway um if we had a storm here and it was winter time like last year we would spend about 120 dollars a month on hay that's how much it would cost to keep one horse our horse where we live 120 dollars a month about um for our five horses it costs about 480 dollars a month to keep all five of them um, another thing that our horses specifically have our grain we give um, a vitamin grain to all of our horses so that they're getting all the vitamins and the nutrients that they need daily as well as we give some of our horses um, just the ones that we just two of them our boys we give them uh, another kind of grain a performance kind of grain and um, so grain just for storm who eats the most is about hundred and forty dollars a month but for all of our horses combined it's about two hundred and eighty dollars a month which doesn't seem like a lot and you guys should know that when I made the prices I didn't include tax and I didn't I kind of chose the lower end like I don't know I feel like supplements are one of those things that you can't really get away from all a lot of horses need at least one supplement and so supplements are so super expensive so for storm alone his supplements are about hundred and fifty dollars a month and um, for all of our horses across the board, I pay right now about $250 a month and maybe even a little more. Uh, so the next thing that we use a lot of are shavings. And I know that, again, in summer, horses lots of times stay out more and in some places, horses never go in. But um, we do use shavings. And because it's summer, we're using a little less than we would in the winter. And for storm, we would probably use about $48 in shavings every month, which is, again, on the low end. And for all of our horses, we use about $140 a month in shavings. And shavings are the worst thing because they're so consumable. You buy it and you use it and it's gone the next day and they're so expensive. The last absolute thing that horses have to have are is the farrier. The farrier is so super important. Good feet are like the building blocks of having a horse if you want to ride them. So um, the farrier for Storm is about is $130 every six weeks and about and $390 for all of our horses combined every month every six weeks so the thing about that is that um, they go a little longer in the winter they go a little more often in the summer um, horses like Stella could go a little bit uh, sometimes go a little bit earlier like it's all variable there are so many variables in every single thing to do with horses it's hard to pinpoint just one price so those are the prices that I have put together um, I also added it to this list the Cairo and the reason the chiropractor and the reason I did this is because not everybody uses a chiropractor with their horse I know some people don't even believe in it but I think that for us seeing everything that our horses go through and being ridden um, uh, horses need chiropractic care more than any other like they they need it they it is a necessary thing I can't even imagine the horses going around out there that have never seen a chiropractor. Um, so I have included that in our price because we do it every month for uh, two or three of our horses. 
And um, so for Storm alone, it's $130. And for three of our horses each month, it is $390. So um, if you can see, I'm going to put totals here. Um, for one horse, it costs us $718 a month just to have them here. Not to do anything with them, just to have them here and maintain a level of care. Um, and then it costs us about $1,870 to keep five horses. It's the same exact um, level of care. So it was a little bit of an eye opener for me to make this list because I've just been going along paying for things and not really paying attention to how much it actually costs us. And um, to be honest, I thought it was way more than what, what it actually turned out to be. Um, I think that's because there are other things that we pay for for having horses that are not necessities but are important to us. I decided to share those with you as well so that you guys could have an idea of what it actually takes to have horses because paying for the basic amount of care is never what ends up happening. So um, another thing that is a constant price for us, as you guys know, are our lessons. And we pay about $880 a month for lessons and that is on the low end again because our lessons change often all three of us take lessons the girls twice a week I take lessons usually once a week but when I was getting ready for my show I was taking lessons uh, two times a week and when the girls get ready for a show they take lessons three times a week and then they go to camp often in the summer that it's three hundred dollars each for a week and um, sometimes it's four hundred dollars a week for like the advanced camp um, also, our horses have to get shots every year, and this year for our shots, it was about $900 for him to come and give them all their shots, and then six weeks later, we had to do um, booster shots for two of our horses, and that was another $300, so that is a necessary thing that we do with our horses every single year. Um, also, um, we did eight shows this year, you guys, eight shows for our horses two kids um eight times and then i did one show and it cost us two thousand dollars to do all of those shows so that is a extra cost that is associated with horses that a lot of people do um vet emergencies or whenever you have the vet out you don't i don't know very many people who only have the vet there to do shots yearly and not ever have to call them again every single time i call the vet and have them come here it almost always costs me at least three hundred dollars and around or around the three hundred dollar mark so that happens often i've had the vet here maybe five or six times this year so this year i have had the vet here for non shots non-routine related things at least five times i would say five times and that's about three hundred dollars each time so and those are things that you can't count on you can't plan for it just happens um also we spend a lot of money to go to shows to take our horses places in gas and travel expenses we spend about eighty dollars a month in gas um expenses Another cost that I wanted to share with you guys is that we buy a lot of stuff at the tax store, a lot of incidental stuff, a lot of stuff that just comes up. Like, we'll be riding in our lesson and our trainer will be like, oh, you know, you really need a new bit or you really need a, a, a martingale or you need to get new stirrups or you need new pads for your stirrups. Like little tiny incidental things or um, seasonal things like fly sprays or fly masks or um or seasonal blankets that are a huge expense they're, they're at least two hundred dollars a blanket per horse if you blanket your horse so each season and sometimes you need like three blankets just for one season so we spend literally about two hundred dollars extra a month just going to the tax store fly spray alone is two hundred dollars for one season it costs us two hundred dollars for a season to buy a fly spray um, there are other things that we are always having to get a crop because our crops break or just so many things. And this is, and, and this list alone does not even include like if you want to buy jumps or the things that you want to buy to improve your barn or your farm or like, um, you know, wheelbarrows and horse picks and like for shoveling horse poop and, um, all that stuff. The cost of having horses at home is insurmountable. Like you cannot even put just one number on it and, it is so different for how much it would cost me living where I live and how we care for our horses as it would be for somebody else. So I wanted to make that list for you. I wanted to make 
I wanted to try and figure it out as best I could so that you guys would have an idea. A lot of kids are always asking me like, tell me how much does it cost to have a horse at home so that I can convince my parents? And um, I wanted to have something concrete written down, an estimate, an accurate estimate to how much it actually does cost to have a horse. And it is not a cheap endeavor, but it is such a rewarding endeavor. I would never um, not want any of our horses. I don't want any more horses <laughs> where we are now. I want to always be able to take care of the horses that we do have. I want to always be able to afford the chiropractor to come and care for them when they need it. I always want to be able to afford um, supplements that come up and that supplements that that come about because of a problem that they need fixed. I always want to be able to take care of them the way that they deserve to be taken care of. So yeah, that is it. That is it for this video. Um, I hope that it's made some sense for you. And I would like to hear in the comments below though, how much does it cost you uh, to keep one horse or to keep all of your horses at home? I think it'll be really interesting for us to kind of get together and figure it out uh, from place to place, the differences. I know uh, when I've talked about the cost of hay, um, uh, people say that the cost of hay where they live is so much more expensive than what we pay for hay. So um, definitely interesting and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say and um, see who ha lives in the better area, the cheaper area to have horses. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>